How's it going, guys? Uh, my name is Yanfeng Liu, and this is my partner, Jia Tengzhang. We are both uh, EE senior students from University of Nebraska-Lincoln. So we built a Rubik's Cube solver, and uh, we've spent a lot of time on it. So we just want to take this video, uh, share it with you guys, talk about how it works. And in the end, we're going to show a clip of how it actually solves the Rubik's Cube. Okay, so for us, we built the Rubik's Cube solver uh, in a Uli frame. The frame itself really took us a long time. But if any of you want to do the same thing as us, I highly recommend you to try build it with 3D printed frame. It's going to be more accurate than us and it saves you a lot of time. Uh, we used the three Arduinos and six steppers. Uh, the laptop is going to directly connect with one Arduino and send it the command. And that one, one Arduino is going to have 12 different GPIO pins feeding to two other Arduinos through the ADC read. Uh, the two Arduino are going to directly control the six steppers, but as you know, the Arduino we use only have 12 GPIO pins. So one stepper requires four GPIO pins, so we have to separate the, the GPIOs into two different Arduinos. Uh, also, we since the Arduino don't have that much power supply, I mean, the the, the, the limits on the GPIO pin is like five volts, so we have to use a separate power supply. And by uh, if we want to do that, we have to use the ULN two thousand three microchip, which basically acts like a transistor array, have ten of them or nine of them on one chip, so that makes us can have the thirty volts and uh, three amp power supply from our uh, laboratory. Mm. And um, one of the Arduinos talks to a laptop that has MATLAB installed on it and there is a nice uh, Arduino support package on MATLAB that directly sends command to Arduino and we actually solved the Rubik's Cube on MATLAB and the algorithm we used is called T45, it's pretty famous and uh, it guarantees to solve any Rubik's Cube within a certain number of steps and uh, if you have any other questions we would put the design document and open source code down below with the link to a GitHub and website. So check it out.